everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, but today I'm here with the video that you guys need. Actually, um, we are going to set up together my new languages hub in Notion. So this is basically a plan with me slash tutorial um, because it will be extremely useful if you want to um, duplicate this template as well in your own Notion hubs. And um, so this is going to basically be guide through of this specific template for Notion. And a very brief disclaimer, uh, this is actually like an adaptation, a template that is already existent, is the um, Ghost Tracker by Red Gravity. If you're interested, check out their content. Um, YouTube, like their YouTube channel is amazing, really. I just love it. Everything that you need to know for Notion is over there. There are lots of templates, free and lots of tutorials so definitely go check them out and so as this template was originally free this adaptation this one that i recreated is going to be free as well so if you're interested check out the link below to duplicate in your own notion um, account as well and let's start with building my language hub Hi everyone! So this is going to be a really, really quick tutorial to show you my new Languages Hub template. So the language planner that I briefly introduced you in the intro of the video. As you can see, now this is completely empty. So this is like the, the thing that you're going to duplicate and I'm going to show you step by step how to set it up real, real quick. It's really easy, but maybe a little bit of explanation might be needed. And I'm going to show you how I will organize it. So these are just examples based on my, um, like, let's say I'm going to try and create my own language lab uh, hub over here. So to start real quick, I'm going to give you a brief introduction. So this is the first part that basically is going to be the plan of the week. So you are going to have all the actions, all the tasks that you would like to do in a certain week. Then over here you have a ghost section by languages. You're going to see all the cards sorted by languages um, with the progress bar and um, the term that you decided to assign to the specific goals. Here you have basically a planner, like a sum up of everything you completed over here in your study plan, which is going to be shown over here in this section in this database. You can see if something is completed, okay, over here. You can also hide it if you want to, because of course, everything that you take over here as completed will be shown here. Then you have the, like, the name of the task, more or less, the date in which you accomplished, the language that is related to, so all the language system that you have over here, the skill that is connected to, the goals that this task is related to, and then you can also leave some um, like a rate, you can give a rate to your like brief study session to help you understand if you felt confident or maybe there is something that you need to improve like discipline, attention, or maybe you didn't enjoy the resource um, that you use. So this might be useful for you to reflect on your language learning journey and over here we have the areas with the languages it's just a gallery view because everything uh, that you need might can be here like these are the main databases um, we have the languages one the goals one and the study plan one now i'm going to show you how to uh, create and modify the languages section um, here there are already two uh, that you can just briefly um, create um, and modify and if you want to create a new one you just have to click on this new button let's see really brief how I create mine okay everything here is already set up but I'm going to show you what to do even when you want to create a new one so for icon for example I'm going to create Japanese real quick Here's the goal count label. So every single goal that you create over here is going to be like one, two, three, four. It's, the more you add, the, the, the higher the, the count will be. And all the actions that are related to, then there are two 
hidden properties, you don't have to touch them. There are formulas and stuff that will help you to um, have the count label and stuff like that. And for every single language that you have here, um, there are the related goals and the actions. So you have somehow like an overview of everything that is related to the single language, which is Japanese. I'm also going to add a cover real quick to make you understand why I created that um, gallery view, like Tokyo. This one, really like the neonish vibes. Because if you go to the main languages hub section, you can just reposition it and you have your own gallery, which is pretty, pretty nice to have all the cards with the languages that you have here. Real quick, let's go into modify this one as well. Go into Korean. Can add cover. Of course, all these things are completely customizable, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, tone. Um, this. This one's good. Then let's add a new language from scratch. What I suggest you to do is to click the new area template. So, because you have this view then, and it will allow you to create the goals. So, let's add the icon. Let's do Spanish. Oh, sorry. Spanish. And then let's add a new cute cover. Spain, Spain, not spawn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, something from Barcelona because I visited it. Didn't change. Why though? It doesn't want to change. I think it's okay. No, it. No, it's not. well. Let's keep it like that. Okay, so now that we have our collection of languages, it would be really nice to create some goals. So all you need to do is go to the languages section so that you can think about the goals more specifically without feeling overwhelmed and you create a new goal. Click here, go to the new goal template. Again, you can change the, the emoji or maybe Castle one. Let's go with random. No, <laughs> so awful. It's, it's terrible. Um, paper clips. We really like create paper clips. I don't really need to add a cover. Like for example, for Japanese, let's say that I want to um, work on the tobira. Year is not really too important because we don't have actually a year in clamps thing, but if you want to, you can just add 2022 to help yourself. Then the area, which is the language, uh, is connected to Japanese. If you want to, you can also rename it, but I prefer um, that it related to languages because, um, again, um, this template is not mine. Basically, I just readapted it to language learners, so some things maybe might need a change like renamed but um for me it's not really that much important so i decided just to leave it like that then the term um i created this month this quarter this year but you can basically choose and customize everything uh, let's say for this year and therefore the end date is going to be bug, sorry the 31st of december and then you have formula with the days left and the progress bar. Basically, the progress bar will show you um, based on the number of actions that you decide to have, um, if you have completed or not. So, uh, depending on how you want to plan your studies, um, the progress bar will change a little bit. And then there's the achieve section. And over here, there are all the actions that you need to do. If you want to plan in advance, um, like I like to do, you can always create a new one, as you can see here, it's not started. Oh, sorry. It's not really that nice as sometimes there are these graphic bugs, but it's okay. Um, as you can see here, now you have your own, your new goal, Tobira. 
and if you click over here now there's the new view open it full page you can also start working already on your actions um, again click the template because the template is going to be extremely useful for you um, so remember to click add a new template which is um, action new action new goal or new area or new language uh, for example uh, let's say that Tobira Tobira has 15 chapters okay so you can add chapter one um, languages courses Japanese the date you can add it once you work on it or maybe when you plan to do that because um, you can it's not really doesn't really that matter because as long as you do not check the completed um, checkbox is going to stay in the study plan not in what I achieved this week so I highly recommend you to put a date um, for um, when you want to do that when you want to work on for example the chapter one of Tobira uh, let's say you want to work on Monday okay um, the skill chapter one um, as you can see here you have grammar vocabulary listening reading writing speaking and class so for example if you book a hockey class you can put class and these are just cute um labels that i decided to add to identify and see what i'm working on and maybe what needs to be improved because usually i tend to neglect the um, the writing thing in my studies so i decided to add it to understand um the the areas that i need to work on more so for example chapter one of tobira comprehends vocabulary and reading for the most part and as i told you once i will finish this once i check the completed thing is going i will rate it like for example it was amazing then um, as you can see today the 29th so as you can see focus first is next week so current week is not checked but why there's a current week thing because um, let's say that I completed this um, today want to check this as you can see the current week is here the completed is checked because I did that so if we go back as you can see the actions to do to do that I still have to do are gone because I completed it so it's in the all actions um, database but what is great is let's go to the languages hub again as you can see study plan over here there's it and if you want to actually I highly recommend you to do that um, if you don't want to see um, your mm, the things that you completed, I highly recommend you to do filter, add advanced filter, where um, completed is not checked. So, as I showed you previously, the action that we did, so the chapter one is done and it's here. So it's what I did this week. Because, for example, if I were to complete this on, uh, like I did it last week, it's gone. Because this is this shows just what you did this week. So it's in its archive. That is like the complete one over here. Or otherwise, you can find it in the goals section that I showed you previously and is here all actions as you can see the progress bar shows achieved so it means that the goals are complete because i just added an action so what i suggest you to do is to create the actions in advance if, especially if you're working with a textbook i highly recommend you to put all the chapters that you need to work on or maybe the chunks that you'd like to uh, work on because for example as you can see here i already created a new action and therefore the one was completed this new one that I'm going to create not therefore progress bar 50% is extremely logic probably you just need to um, get the hang out of it um, but it's extremely easy to use once you figure out everything as you can see it's already connected to Tobira because I'm already working it on the Tobira section of my goals for example chapter 
too. Again, it's connected to Japanese, of course. The date that I would like to work on it, like 2nd of August. Skill, again, grammar, vocabulary, and reading. And that's it. So when we go back to the Languages Hub, it's here. We have the site plan. So, now I'm going to create um, a complete version of this to show you a little bit how it will be your own uh, Languages Hub in the future. So, here's the final result. Ta-da! I decided to add some other tasks for new goals over here, as you can see. Um, of course, this is complete. This is not completed. It's not my real plan because, unfortunately, right now I'm just focusing on my final dissertation. So probably in the future you will see a real version of this one. And as you can see, if you just want to play around Notion and you are like someone who enjoys trying to understand how Notion works, um, I highly recommend you to play around with it and like um, see whatever labels you want to uh, see, what you need. So the thing is that with Notion, with the fact that you can duplicate everything and so it stays on your um, account permanently, you can change around things however you want to. Like for example, I decided to add in the preview the dates over here so that I can see what I want to achieve every single day. So like, for example, um, okay, today is the 29th, so I don't have everything, but this way I can see that in a couple of days, I want to work on a 15 minute session on Closemaster because of course this is connected to Closemaster um, for Japanese. So that's it. Um, so I highly recommend you to play around with it. Um, I know that this is this tutorial is not perfect, but bear with me. I'm I'm a Notion lover. I'm not a Notion um, content creator, like full-time content creator. I am just a user as all of you guys. So um, probably I have some advanced knowledge um, compared to many other language learners or maybe other students, but um, bear with me. The explanations are not perfect because I am not a complete expert on Notion. But as you can see over here, there's everything you need to create the perfect study plan for you. So guys, thank you so much for the attention. And I really hope that this template will be helpful for you too. Remember, you can download it for free, so no problem at all. And remember to duplicate it. And thank you again to Red Gregory uh, for creating this amazing goal tracker that I had the chance to modify and make it perfect for every language learner. If you're interested in my content, I highly recommend you to check out my Instagram profile uh, because over there there's everything. The link for the template is down below and I hope to see you soon with a new video. Bye guys!